Is it easier or is it late? Is it early or is it great? Is this a meeting or is this a date? With no further evidence, with your fist raised high, you no longer believe in anything. Long time no see. You look good. Have you done something to your hair? Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I've missed you. I've come to understand the meaning of love in your absence. I've been obsessing about you lately. Your features, the texture of your hair, the color of your eyes. Remember that one time we dined in Dutch from the Italian restaurant? That was funny. We did that to make mothers weep and to make children proud. I wonder if you ever turn me in. Would you ever testify against me? You know I'd die for you. But I, I can't see that in you. You seem like the kind of person that would sell your own parents for a bowl of rice. I mean, I don't mean to offend you, though. You're great. But you know, we had our differences in the past. It's a pity you didn't take care of things. Not that I'm blaming you. I've missed your smile. <laughs> no, no, don't take pictures. This is a little secret. Whatever happens in between these four walls is ours alone. And that's what makes it special, no? What I propose to you is pretty unusual, I know. It even could be considered as weird. Let's imagine we entered into a new life, okay? We already know each other and we naturally decide to spend some time together. Let's create a perfect bubble out of time. I hope you won't decline. Trust me. Look, I down the line. Close your eyes. <laughs> no. Blow it, softly, blow, make a wish, what did you wish for? No, you don't have to tell, it's, it's silly, but if you say it out loud, it will never come true. There are some things that are best to get inside. inside. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. It is best to suffer in silence. A diary. Sometimes referred to as journal or notebook is a record with discrete entries arranged by date reporting on what has happened over the course of a day or other period. A personal diary may include a person's experiences and or thoughts or feelings, including comments on current events. Someone who keeps a diary is known as a diarist. The oldest diaries come from Middle Eastern and East Asian cultures, although Marcus Aurelius' meditations already display many characteristics of a diary and feelings. The first diary as we know it today dates back to the 17th century, and more specifically to the household of the Innocentes. 13-year-old Isabella was in pain and crying, curled up and moody, suffering from a typical, traditional, infamous teenage panic attack thought by others to be induced by the numerous frescoes on the four walls of her room. Her screams were loud, piercing, and annoyed everyone else in the villa, making Alessandra, the head of the family, run towards her chambers angrily. But firstly, he stopped in by his studio, on the ground floor, to grab all his writing tools, those he proudly exhibited on his desk as a man of culture, of letters, a renaissance man. Alessandro stormed into Elisabetta's room, overwhelming the crying girl with a rain of blank papers and writing feathers, screaming, I don't care, I don't want to hear about it, you're crazy, just write it down, leave me alone, I want to sleep. So it was then when the first diary was ever written. Elisabetta Innocenti died a few weeks later. She had been raped by her uncle Luca, who infected her with gonorrhea, which developed in an incurable pelvic inflammatory disease, an infection of the female reproductive organs that caused irreversible damage to the uterus, ovaries, and fallopian tubes. She suffered from painful urination, fever, nausea, and vomiting up to the moment of her death. This we know from her writings. A night in the arms of Venus leads to a lifetime on Mercury. That's how girls all over the world started being granted with the lovely gift of diaries. Boys were given notebooks to study, to expand in their own thoughts for then sharing them with the world and participate in a global discourse of legitimate history. But personal journals and notebooks were very different in content but extremely similar in shape, which was problematic. It took two centuries and a brilliant mind from Oxford, that of the scholar Harold Scott Wood, to design a modern diary with a side padlock. This helped making a distinction between those notebooks given to men and those used by women. Finally, Finally women will now women will stop now contaminating, contaminating public, public discourse, discourse with their inner ramblings. Freud, 
who was a secret admirer of Harold Scott Wood's teachings, continued his legacy by developing his ideas for the infantilization of female emotions. Diaries became very, very, very popular during the 20th Greetings century. Greetings and welcome to my video diary. Uh, I guess I've, I've heard these things called uh, like video blogs or uh, vlogs or v-blog or vlog, blog, I don't know. something I don't know keep it to yourself you know oh. I'm scared of commitment I, know that. I get oh. anxious it's not it's not that I don't care it's just I don't know it isn't elegant not cool how could you have thought that I was human what are you thinking nothing there's no way you're not thinking about anything that's not like a thing but I get it. Okay, you don't want to tell me it's okay. It's been a while, I understand. I apologize. You should stop smoking. It's bad for you. It makes your breath stink. What does the horoscope say about us? Are we compatible? I see death in your aura. <coughs> You're likely to be craving mental stimulation today. Which that inner restlessness doesn't lead to impatience or the taking of shortcuts. As well, be a little more guarded with what you say or how you express yourself. Be careful with what you say. Do you want to improvise or do you want to follow a script? Let's take it as a kind of a game. You're so cute, I want to play with you. I put my hands in your head, I stroke your hair, make you shiver. I want to play like children do. But you need to trust me, okay? Okay, so you have to close your eyes. Now, close your eyes. Shut. No cheating. You better be good, otherwise it won't work. Life is a minefield. I mean, this is the game, the minefield. There are some things put on the floor, and if you touch them, they will destroy you. Nothing will be left. Gone. Forever. Kaput. So be careful. Okay, we start. Three, two, one, stay still. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, I said. Okay, lift your right leg. Stay still. Lift your left arm straight to the sky. <laughs> You're losing your balance, huh? Okay, I know it's tricky. It's okay. Go back to standing position. Now. Move one step to the right. Stay still. Now move forward two steps. One, two. Stay still. <laughs> gotcha. That's a lesson to learn. Trust no one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That wasn't funny. I apologize. Oh, that, that was mean, sorry. Oh god, I'm horrible. That's okay. It's okay, it was a joke. Mm. You're so pure, I shouldn't be doing these things to you. That you're forever giving terrifies me. Your patience scares me. 
History gets lost when you get robbed, when there is a fire in your house, when your dog eats your homework, when you spill coffee over your computer, when things are written in journals. Diaries are swallowed by the beds girls write their journals from. It's a phenomenon similar to the Bermuda Triangle, but I won't expand on that because I'm not superstitious. What the fuck are you doing in my blog? It's private. Oh my god, but it's open and they're online. What do you expect? Jesus. Parallel realities and their importance. The right thing to do. The right thing to do. The right thing to do. The right data gleams with rainbows. What's the mainstream? Some civilians read more magazines than others. Who's right? Who's cheap? Who's, Who's right? Cheap? I'm expensive. Who's wrong? Or cheap? <laughs> Syphilis had a variety of names. Usually people named it after an enemy or a country that felt responsible for it. The French called it the Spanish disease. The English and Italians called it the French disease. The Germans called it the French evil. The Russians called it the Polish disease. The Polish and the Persians called it the Turkish disease. The Turkish called it the Christian disease. The Tahitians called it the British disease. In India, it was called the Portuguese, Portuguese disease. disease. And, in Japan, and in Japan, it was, it was called, called the Chinese, Chinese box. box. No, don't Google me. It's embarrassing. Oh. What's up with you, Misty Lilyheart? What are you doing later? <laughs> really? Are you sure? It's kind of lame. You should stay with me. We're a great team. We're not like the other people. It should just be us against the world. We have nothing to envy. My life revolves around you, just as yours revolves around mine. Hi guys, um, so this is my first video blog. Hello everybody, this is Joanna here. Uh, I am video blogging. Hi guys, so I received the question on what your first blog post should be about. Nobody really knows about this at all. Well, I'm going to talk to you all about being a sugar baby. Um, so basically... I am 29 years old. I am transitioning from male to female. Uh, I have been dressing for about 11 years now. I still have a little puffiness under my eyes, but um, that's because the incision's here and the, it kind of settles right here. And the lighting here is so bad. A little pain sometimes along the edges here. And I'm back with a new video. Um, in four days, I'll be flying out to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic to catch up with the King of Curves. So I'm getting liposuction from head to toe. Um, how, as far as how the, the water fast is going for me, I am very proud to say that I have successfully completed seven days on my water only fast, making that a week. Um, I'm on here doing my very first pregnancy diary. Yay! The least documented thing is the most interesting, but it is gone faster, forgotten, and erased forever, like it never happened. And mistakes, same mistakes again, always the same mistakes forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. I mistake, they mistake, we all mistake, you mistake, or maybe you're right, but I will never know. No one will ever know. Who knows? Either you live in a cloud or stay in a bubble.